What's up everyone, this is Josh from East Coast Healing. Today I wanna to talk about a question we get asked about all the time. If I drink coconut water, is this enough potassium in my diet? And the answer is no. Why? You need about 4,700 milligrams of potassium a day. And if you try your darn hardest to get it from food, it would be next to impossible. It is very hard. The problem is it is one of the most important minerals that we can balance in our system is that relationship between potassium and sodium, right? You can get it from watermelon and prunes and apricots and salmon and potatoes, coconut water, aloe juice, as many other foods, but these are some examples. You can look in the description, but we should be getting a variety of these to get all that potassium in our diet and not really go for potassium supplements because what is found in nature is not the same thing in supplements. And if you can get all of it from your food with addition of coconut water. You shouldn't just be relying on coconut water the adrenal cocktail, or aloe juice. But the question we have to ask ourselves is, why do I have a potassium deficiency? Remember, in a normal state, your cells pull in potassium and they push out sodium. This is the sodium potassium pump. This is balance, right? But in stressful conditions or chronic unmitigated stress, cells hold on to sodium and push out potassium. This is a problem. This is a huge problem because low potassium is so associated with less insulin, which means less blood sugar regulation because potassium plays a huge role and supporting sugar getting into the cell through that insulin mechanism. Secondly is anytime the cells hold on to sodium, you're gonna have waterfalls in, 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 in that potassium loss will stimulate the reading angiotensin system. This increases, of course, the pressure in our blood vessels, which increases blood pressure. So you know anytime someone has blood pressure, there's chronic stress, right? Creating the physiology, but this is why potassium is such an important mineral with the food um, when someone has blood pressure issues besides changing their life and their environment. Lastly is that relationship between calcium and potassium. This is on the HTMA, this is your thyroid ratio. Because anytime there's that stress, sodium's gonna sink into the cell, so is calcium. The problem is, as you lose potassium, potassium plays a huge role in getting thyroid hormone into the cell. And calcium will block the amount of thyroid hormone getting in the cell. So now we create a thyroid resistance, so it doesn't matter how much thyroid hormone we create, it's not getting in the cell. So think about this when it comes to potassium. It's not just about the food, and it's not just about the adrenal cocktail, and it's not just about supplementation. It's about how you're living your life and how that is affecting your physiology, which is affecting your minerals. As always, if you have any questions, put them in the comments, hit that like button, that subscription button, and that notification button. So every single Wednesday when we release a video, you get notified. Peace.